Yeah, this is a, an important study that uh, has been carried on by uh, ERIC, the uh, European Research Initiative on CLL, with uh, more than 50 centers involved uh, worldwide. And uh, this work has been presented by uh, Andrea Vizentin from Padova. And uh, uh, it's an interesting study because it really collects uh, hundreds of patients that uh, have been infected by the SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus uh, and having, of course, a chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And what Andrea is showing is really that you can really uh, detect the four different waves of the viral infection. And during these waves, there is indeed a big change in the, uh, in the death of uh, our patient, in the severe COVID, and also in the management of our patients. So we do see an improvement with time th from 2020 to 2022. And this can be for many reasons. Uh, of course, uh, we, we learn how to manage the patient. We had new drugs, we had uh, uh, antibodies to uh, fight the virus, we had antiviral therapies, but also uh, what is true is that we had all our patients who were vaccinated against uh, SARS-CoV-2. It is true that our patients do not respond um, uh, so frequently to the vaccination, so a high proportion of patients, uh, even more than 50%, do not respond at least in terms of immunoglobulin uh, uh, production in the serum to the vaccine, but still this is important that the patient get vaccinated because we have also the T-cell immunity that can protect our patient. And then, of course, if they are not protected enough, we have uh, uh, therapies to fight uh, the virus. But it, it, we had a clear improvement uh, from 2020 to 2022 in the life expectation of our patient who became infected by SARS-CoV-2.